Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Dynamite's making his way to the ring right now. Boy, and he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him, confidently making his way down for this contest. Tucker's got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. Gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Let's touch him up. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Teddy, you just look at the physical stature of these two guys, and it's clear to see one fighter is much stronger than the other. But if you're the fighter who's not as strong, you still got to go out there and win the fight. How do you do it? Well, first of all, you yell at your manager for making this fight. <laughs> and then the second thing you do is you make sure that you have good shoes on, good track shoes, and you use them. Combo lands to the head. He scored well after being hit himself. to the body with a counter shot. Coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Teddy, if you could only pick out a few characteristics for a fighter and apply them to them, what would they be? Well, I think first of all would be the ability to overcome and the ability to be dependable. Everyone looks at the neon things, the speed, the power, they're tangible. We feel comfortable with those things. We can grab onto those things. But what about the talent of somebody being able to make a choice, a hard choice, in a very dark place? And there's the left hand working well for him again. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Tucker starting to swell here. Another left hand from him. And now another left. Ten seconds to go in this round. Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy, when you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Parries that punch intended for the head. He scored well after being hit himself. 
A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Dynamite. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Showing you some defense there with the block. Halfway through this round. Devastating blow by Tucker. job with another left hand the twists and turns and the non-stop battle it continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go takes one but gives one good work by thunder He backs up the combination, landed all four of them. There's another left hand from him. He tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Tucker. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Now that's some sharp offensive maestro work there by Thunder. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Wow! Oh, he just did a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. That was a miss by Tucker. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there.
something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Tucker. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well-suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Cut. Oh man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Combination to the head. Tucker's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Tucker's out at longer range. He's staying away from some danger spots defensively. Well, he knows he has an opponent who has to be set to punch and who's very dangerous in those spots. So he's doing what he should be doing, keeping him off balance, giving him angles, fighting a smart fight. <laughs> after some fine defense by Tucker. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you're seeing proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. Dynamite's got some swelling that's now starting to show. Tucker's is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Teddy, I think the fans sometimes don't appreciate it, but what he's doing right now on the outside is very smart. Well, this is a sweet science, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's understanding where he needs to be, and he's controlling that dimension. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. <laughs> Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. 
Jones. Halfway into round number five here. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. That's Drake Wright unable to connect. Tucker's proving here that he can't hit what you can't reach. You see the movement he's putting forth. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. Wow, is he defensively sound. A good two-punch combo by Tucker. Last 10 seconds. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. The start of the sixth round. Excellent one two by Tucker. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Able to dismiss it. Tucker's doing a good job of just creating some space there, just pushing off. Keep your hand up. And there he counters back against his opponent. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been nonstop. You know, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. He's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here. Oh, that's got to hurt. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Dynamite's pushing away right there. You can see him shoving, trying to create some space. Tucker's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. He is very much being tested here, even though he's likely up on the scorecards. He's getting a real test here. Yeah, Joe, a test that will serve him in the future. If he goes on to win this fight, which I think he will, he's going to take what he learned here today, what he gained here today, and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career. Counter punch by Tucker. Tucker's got a real acquired skill here, and that is the ability to pick your shots and land them. So you hear the saying when people say, you know what time it is. You have to know what time it is. He knows what time it is. He knows when to throw a certain punch. Took a shot, now he gets a left. Final 10 seconds. What a good counter punch by Tucker. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Thunder. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight 
where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Halfway through this round here. Good defensive skill with the block by Dynamite. Good double jab by Dynamite. Tucker's now in a position where he may not even realize it, but the eye is getting worse. Still, he fights on. He behaves like a fighter, and that's the greatest asset you have. It's not your jab, it's not your hook, it's not your power, it's not your footwork. It's your ability to behave like a fighter when you have to. He's doing that right now. Tucker's got to figure out now, Teddy, a way to properly defend himself with that swollen eye. Yeah, he has to understand what side that he can't defend from, where the punches can come, and not give his opponent that side. Make sure that he moves to the certain kind of way in the ring where he keeps his opponent away from that bad eye, moves him towards the good eye, gives him the best shot. Ten seconds to go in this round. Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the... Wow! Tucker's been hurt by that shot. Locks it away. He went from almost being knocked out to being right back in it. doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponents. Tucker's jab on the outside. That has really been the difference maker here, hasn't it, Teddy? Yes, it has. But the most important thing is, you know, everybody says, hey, just use your jab. You control the outside. Hey, jab's a great weapon, but it could be very dangerous. You throw it from a little too close, you could get counted with that right hand. He's throwing it at the perfect distance, getting full extension on that punch. <laughs> Punch by Tucker. Dynamite's getting caught with headshots. But Teddy, to me, this is pretty simple. Move your head. Otherwise, the other guy will. And he's been moving his head for him all night.
defensive skill. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Ten seconds to go. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Nice block by Tucker. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by thunder This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. <laughs> Nothing there on the punch by Tucker. Able to cover up that gut. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Tucker's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make it an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Well, here's the way we see it. He's down on the scorecards, has to have the knockout to win it. Yeah, and he has to understand that. You know, the main thing is he hasn't given in. You know, he's still there trying, but he's in a desperate place. So what he has to do now is look for one spot. He remembers maybe something he saw early in the night where the guy pulls out his hand down a little bit and maybe he can time him stepping out. to protect the midsection. End of the round here. You can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like another sport, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. So they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect the guy to box. You hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that champ working. They act like coaches sometimes. Keep it going. Great movement to get away from those punches. upstairs to 
stay away from that offensive assault. Oh, Tucker's the victim of a powerful hook. He's putting his punches together. There he goes. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. There he goes with the right hand again. Fine work right there by Tucker. Tucker's in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. He fires back. Good block there by Dynamite. Able to get rid of that one. And once again, the jab lands. man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. <laughs> Tucker's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen.
beautiful game plan there. Out from range on, and man. into the power. Just the way he and his trainer drew it up on the chalkboard. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for slow right from the beginning. his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut what a fight what a great great non-stop action fight this has been by dynamite. <laughs> nice strike after catching one by Thunder. Good defensive skill. Comes right back with some offense of his own. On the mark, the counter punch by Tucker. Tucker's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A-plus, Joe. That Holy cow! Tucker's in bad shape! A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Comes right back at him with a left hand. For the official judges' scores, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the fight. A unanimous decision. Your winner, Thunder Tucker. Tucker's your winner by a unanimous decision. Well, he started going to the body, and it paid off for him, and it paid off us. A good, solid fight. It was indeed, and we're glad you were with us to witness it. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.